This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video video and this time I'm in the checkmate ranked server again playing with the zoo perform pal deck yet again no tornado dragon in my extra deck still because of the fact that this uh, this server uh, does not allow TCG exclusive cards it would seem which is weird because I feel like it used to <laughs> um, but so what we'll do here is we'll add the dragoons of draconia here first I've got this which I can normal summon which is fine um, which means I could actually use pendulum rising to go into Ariadne and pop that uh, with my sorcerer, so there's 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 options, uh, but the usual pendulum rising play is usually just better, um, especially since it lets you draw cards before you pendulum summon, so you could draw into Ariadne there. But anyway, gonna activate this uh, gonna activate this zoo barrage and use it to destroy my tanky. That way, I keep the zoo barrage as a resource. Uh, there's an entire reason why like a lot of play that I make is the way that I make it. Uh, oh, what do you have access to now? Um, are you, do you have if you had max C, you would have max C'd the barrage. That's at least my thought process. I could be wrong. But my thought process is if you had the max C, you would have max C'd the barrage. What are you... Are you, are you playing like Psy frames or something? Is it like Alpha? Um, the one that like responds to my spo to like my summon? Is that what it is? I don't know what's happening. But I'm really curious. <laughs> I'm super curious as to what it is. Effect Veiler. That does nothing. That does nothing. Okay, all right. Someone do someone doesn't know how modern Yu-Gi-Oh goes. Effect Veiler is literally like one of the least valued cards right now in terms of hand traps. It's like the worst hand trap on the totem pole. Ever since Norden went away, like Veiler was kind of all right when you were like dealing with Norden, uh, but even then, I would only play it if your deck searched it, which his deck might search it. He might be playing like Blue Eyes. I'm completely discounting a lot of factors. Um, that could very well be the thing that, uh, that is the case. So, we'll do this, search for Whiptail, and then, uh, and then I can go into my Chaka 9, I can do my Pendulum Rising play, and then I'll be able to do everything the way I want. That Effect Veiler literally meant nothing. That Effect Veiler's effect was discard a card from your hand. <laughs> it literally did nothing. Um, oh my god. Alright, so, we'll activate this in the scale. I've already got the Part Naga, so I've already got a very good low scale. Uh, but so we'll use Duelist Alliance here for Pendulum Rising. Use Pendulum Rising on this wrap here that's got the big nope symbol on it um, for its effect to be negated. And then we'll summon the Pendulum Sorcerer out of deck. The Pendulum Sorcerer here will target itself and the Dragoons, the typical play. And I'll get access into... Uh, I've already got a Skullcrabat Joker here, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get Turtle Wizard draw straight. Um... Because, I mean, there's no reason to do anything else. At least that's my thought process. Uh, but So we'll activate this, and then we will activate the Lizard Draw. I think this deck is probably just better than the Pendulum Magician deck, because I thought I was going to be really blown away by how good the, uh, the new Pendulum Magician cards are. And to be honest, like they are really, really good. But the thing is, is that I don't know how well they situate in this format that we have, where this format is really, really volatile um, to like everything. So... I don't know if it's actually something that's really like that, um, that amazing, is the is the thing that I'm thinking. But I'm gonna go ahead and add this lizard draw because I've got a pendulum sorcerer in my extra deck. I don't really think I need to pendulum summon it, but I might just because I can. Um, I can pendulum summon this if I wanted to, but I don't. Um, I can make the Augusto Emerald to draw another card. And uh, we'll see what that card is. If that card is Ariadne, then... I mean, that would be kind of cool for the next turn. I might pop it with Dryden this turn, honestly. If, the, if that card that I draw is Ariadne, might pop it. Um, very much something that might be something that I do. Uh, that's another Skulker Bad Jokers. That's fine. Uh, but I, this deck just seems to like circulate its advantage a lot better than the Magician Pendulum deck does because it has Zoo cards and has Poor Bell cards, and they all work together really well. Um, like the entire thing works together very, very well. Um, so I'll just pendulum these two. And these two can pop out. This isn't going to do anything. And I'm going to set this card 
and I'm going to make my Dryden't and pass my turn. Um, so, like, I didn't get access into a lot of defensive cards, which kind of sucks. I mean, I've got a ton of them. I've got Maxi, I've got Ghost Ogres, I've got Ghost Ashes, I've got the Ariadnes for the Strikes and the Warning, but I just didn't draw into them. So, whatever. Melody of Awakening Dragon. Okay, so he is 100% playing Blue Eyes. Good. I'm glad I made that correlation really early, so I didn't look like a dumbass. Uh, but so his deck does search Valor naturally, but I still don't think I would play it in the deck, honestly. Um, like, realistically speaking, I don't think that I would play it in the deck. Um, he's getting rid of my Duelist Alliance, sure. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, so what I can do is I can Dryden to, to bait this. Um, he's going to attack into my Dryden, I'd assume. Uh, there's a few different things that I've got access to here. Uh, but he has access to Alternative Dragon in his hand, which he can summon. He can make a rank 8. Hmm. I'm, I'm curious as to what the scope of his play is, to be to be honest with you. Um, I'm curious as to what the scope of his play is. Uh, I... No. I'm not going to use the Dryden, uh, because there's no reason to. If he pops this with his uh, alternative, then I guess I'll just use it uh, just to soak up his gospel engrave, um, his uh, Return of the Dragon Lords. So we'll try and do this. Actually, that was a bad move. Um, okay, well, good. He's he's being a dirtle, and he's just banishing from grave anyway. But I targeted that. He could have tributed that to summon his blue eyes from hand <laughs> and kept his Return of the Dragon Lords live in grave. He could have, but he didn't. So we got him. <laughs> but I've got Rageki, which means that I'll be able to just absolutely just uh, just deal with that. Um, this is the only card that can attack directly for the rest of the turn, um, so that's fine. He's going to take my Emerald, he's going to overlay on top of it into probably full armor, and then uh, pop one of my cards. This is all just so fine to deal with. This is the least threatening th thing. Even without this Rageki, my entire hand, like these other three cards, play through this. That Twin Twister doesn't matter either. <laughs> None of this matters. I was going to be able to out your board next turn just with the cards in my hand. Okay, now that's kind of real. Um, but still, it doesn't matter. Um, the thing is here is that if he's smart, uh, he's not smart. Okay, he should have made Dark Matter here because he 100% has game if he had made Dark Matter because Dark Matter can attack two monsters. So he could have attacked both of these and then attacked directly for 3k. And that would have been enough to kill me. So, sorry fam, but you, you played yourself. Um, so, this is going to be the situation we're dealing with. As long as this card isn't a settable, then we're good. Why'd you, why'd you make it now? Like, there's no reason to make it now. Um, there's no reason to make it now. Um, and he doesn't play the Amorphage, dude, so that's fine. Uh, cards in my deck that I do not want to draw. Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre, and uh, probably a Ghost Ash. Yeah. We'll just get the hand traps out. I just want to draw a real card. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Uh, so he's adding Blue Eyes to hand. You misplayed like a champion, and I salute you. Um, had game, didn't do it. Profit. Alright, so. What I'm going to do here is that he's got one Return of the Dragon Lords in his grave. Which means... Which means... I get to pendulum these, I get to make a Dryden't, um, I get to literally have my way with him. Um, so we'll use this, I'll search a low scale to pair it with my lizard draw, um, which will be this card, and I'll put these in my scale, and then uh, this is not a quick effect, right? Yeah, it's just a once per turn effect. That just makes it so simple. Um, I'm going to try and Dryden't pop his thing, right? I'm going to pendulum this from hand, I'm going to pendulum this from extra deck, I'm going to pendulum this from extra deck. And I can pendulum this from extra deck as well, and it'll give a uh, it'll give a boost um, to my stuff. And I'm gonna be overlaying anyway with everything but the part Naga, so that'll be fine. Question mark? Question mark JPEG? Um, it'll give a boost for like a lot. Yeah, we'll do that. Because um, part Naga's effect will prevent itself from attacking, and everything that's level four or lower won't be able to attack either. But at the same time, we're gonna be given. Boosts upon boosts upon boosts. Boost mobile. Um, I actually would love to not activate that right now. Um, and then we'll use Partnaga's effect. I'm going to use Partnaga's effect uh, 
it doesn't actually matter because these are all going to get overlaid with anyway. <laughs> uh, oops. Um, so yeah, like I can't do anything with this, but these, 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 none of these, none of these attack boosts actually matter. That's hilarious. Um, that's hilarious. Ha 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 hilarious. Um, but so I can do that. I can overlay into Broad Bull, get a search, go into Dryden't. Um, yeah, so this is what we'll do. We'll do this, and then we'll go into El Dridento. And then from here, I get to activate this, and I will use it to attempt to pop this card. And if he prevents it with Return of the Dragon Lords, then we just Raigeki him. Teehee! Teehee! Alright, so now what we do is. Uh, okay, absolutely! <laughs> sure! You played yourself. You could have put that Dark Matter on top of that Full Armor Photon Dragon, and you could have done that, and it would have been game the last turn. You actually just had me, but you didn't at the same time. That's a glorious thing, isn't it? Took a minus one from his hand with Effect Veiler that literally did nothing, and then had a chance to kill me, but then just didn't. I mean, people misplay, but still, like, goddamn. Well, anyway, that misplay is going to be immortalized on footage for the time, for the for the infinite future, because this was an 11 minute long video, and I'm keeping every minute of it. So anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and my Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. If you want to have insider access into some ways the channel operates and what like stuff goes up, things like the content that I produce, stuff like that, if you want to have any say in all that sort of nonsense, then definitely go check out the Patreon page as the $1 supporting tier of $1 a month opens up the Patreon feed to you, which is where I ask questions on, you know, what kind of things do you want to see? What order do you want to see these videos go up in? Do you want this video topic or this video topic? Stuff like that. And I ask those questions literally like every other day. So if you're interested in that, then definitely go check that out and it'd be something to your liking. Also, the $5 reward tier gets you access into my private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people where we just chat on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and various other fandoms. So if you're interested in any of those things, definitely go check out the Patreon page if you want to support the channel's growth and support my ability to continue to make content and if it's something that you really like and want to support directly as well. It would be greatly appreciated, anything that you guys decide to do, and I would be, you know, grateful to you for basically eternity, is basically it, because this stuff is really hard to do, and anything that can be gotten out of it makes it even more worthwhile. But anyway, other than that, like this video if you like the content that I've been doing, smash that like button, all that sort of nonsense. If you want to see more content like this, then definitely hit that like button. I don't know if I'm going to be doing another dual video today with this deck. I've been playing this deck to death, so probably not. I'll probably have a different video topic going up today, but there will probably be three videos today as well. I'm definitely definitely on that kill yourself schedule of making a lot of content and uploading it all at the same time. So there's that. But anyway, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content, I'd love to welcome you on board. But other than that, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.